Okay, so the aims of this video will be to see how to generate a Turnitin similarity report, to explain this report, to check for any issues of plagiarism in your work, and to look at some of the extra features in the report. Accessing the report. So when you've uploaded your CT report, this is the screen you're going to be faced with, um, what will often happen is you will find that the report isn't ready to be seen yet. So, um, as you see, if this little clock icon appears, it means that you'll need to wait 24 hours at least uh, for it to appear. So, the best thing to do is wait for tomorrow morning. <laughs> Reading the scores. These are the sources checked by Turnitin, electronic books and journals, websites and also work submitted by other students. So that's not just uh, students from LSBM or this country, uh, but from all over the world. And these are the sources not checked by Turnitin. Books, so that's uh, the traditional books you'll find in the library which haven't been published online. Password protected content, so those are sites or journals that you need a password to enter or access and any new online content, so maybe sites that have been created in the last few months. Checking for plagiarism. So when you've opened your report um, you're going to see the following things at the top uh, will be your name and then uh, the title you've given the report um, and then down the right hand side you'll see in blue any comments that your tutors made on your work you can click on those to see click on this tab to see those and then in red we have uh, the tabs that relate to similarity score scores um, this 16 the number in here is the overall percentage that's been found in your work to be similar to other sources. Um, in some cases this may be plagiarism but um, in some cases not so don't take this as being necessarily uh, the, the exact um, percentage of plagiarism that's in the work it's more just an indication of, um, of how much is similar and as we go through the sources you'll see how in some cases it may not be a problem. Um, so if I want to see um, where things have come from I'm going to click on this button here and you can see it brings up a list of sources and the percentage of um, it says how much has come from that particular source. Uh, so in this case you can see that this has come from a student paper submitted to the University of Liverpool. But actually, this is turn it in hasn't quite got this right. It's just got a fraction of a reference, and so this isn't something that we will be interested in um, as uh, when we're marking the work. Um, references do not count as being plagiarized, um, so we can move on from that. Um, let's go to in this case, however you can see, or in fact, if we look at this one, this again is not something I'm going to be worried about if I was marking this work because um, the there is a citation afterwards. There should be a comma here, but the citation shows that um, this has been correctly referenced. So um, again, this is not an instance of plagiarism. If I go to this source, uh, however, uh, you'll see that there's no citation with this, so this has come directly from, in this case, the internet. So I can see here it's an internet source, and this is the website. Um, so at this stage, if uh, you're checking your similarity report, you see that this has come up, and you can see that there's no citation. What you could do is you can click on the source here, and that will give you the uh, it will take you to the place where this writing has come from 
and you can then generate a citation and a reference from there. Um, it's another instance of that. Okay, another internet source. What I'm going to look for is here we go. This is something, uh, this is another case of poor scholarship where a um, student has obviously taken a source from the internet and um, changed only the occasional word. So this is bad paraphrasing and as you can see it's still been recognised um, by the Turnitin uh, similarity checker and um, this case we will still um, discredit this. This will still uh, be deemed as being plagiarized. So again, you'll either need to change this so that it's properly paraphrased or um, actually quote it. And if you put quotation marks around it and use the citation, then it will no longer be uh, thought of as being plagiarized. Another function that uh, Turnitin allows you is this button here, which is uh, the filter button. And what this can do is, if you've got a high similarity score, but this is mostly being made up of perhaps references, um, or maybe it's uh, small chunks of text that, um, for example, some of these, these references might have come up, those are bad references there. Um, what you can do is uh, just check button uh, this button here, so that would exclude a bibliography if you had all your reference at the end of a references at the end of an essay and you can also um, exclude sources that um, are say let's say 20 words long so this is going to discredit it's going to discount anything that's um, that's small and maybe not a case of plagiarism and you can see once I've applied these changes the similarity score has come down to 12% and finally, if you do have any problems with these Turnitin reports, uh, you can email Learning Technology Support at this address or get in touch with your tutors.